So we have completed thousand namas. Now we are on to palastruti of the sastrana. The benefits reaped by reciting the sastrana. That is what the palastruti. Idanale yenna palan kadiko. What is the benefits you reap for success? And why it is so special? So many times we call it like, you know, this Sastranam is very special and very powerful. Why it is so very powerful? Palashruti reveals all those things. Actually, like, you know, if uh, in the initial stages, in the introduction stages, I have told like, this original name for this Sastranama is Rahasya Nama Sahasram. It is not Lita Sastranama. Lita Sastranama came much later. We all gave that name. The name of this Sahasranama is Lalit, I mean Rahasya Nama Sahasram. That is all highly secretive mantras. That is what we discussed in the thousand namas. So now the conversation was between Agastya and Lord Hayagriva. Yiddhyevam Nama Sahasram Khaditam Te Ghatodbhava. Ghatodbhava means the one who was born out of a pot. Uh, even uh, Agastya was not born out of a womb. He was born out of a pot. Vasishtha and Agastya came out of pot. So they are called Gado, Ghatha Udbhava. Ghatha Udbhava. Yitevam Nama Sahasram Khaditam Te Ghatha Udbhava Abdi. This is the Sahasranama which I imported. Imported to you. Because he was asking, no, initially how many questions in the Purvabhaham we heard it. So, this is the Sahasranama, which contains of thousand names. Because there are Sahasranamas where like, you know, 800, 900 names are also called as Sahasranama. But this one contains thousand names and this is important to you. Rahasyanam rahasyam cha lalita priti dhayakam anenam sadrisham stotram na bhudam na bhavishyati. No text to this day, na bhudam, na bhavishyati are going to come in future. Similar to the anena sadrisham stotram, you can, there is nothing exist like this so stotram so far on, or it is going to be in future, come in future. Rahasyanam Rahasyam is the most secretive of all the stotrams, but Lalita Ambika is very easily gratified because of this. And there is no stotram equal to this. Why they are saying like this? Because if you say so, like uh, even Vishnu Sastranamam, or they are all supposed to be very, very powerful. For one reason, because Nyasam is done in this. Nyasam, Dhyanam, Japam, everything is done for the these Sastranamams. That is the reason they say, Anina Sadrasam Stotram, Na Bhudam, Na Bhavishyati. There is nothing going to come like this. Uh, you, nothing exists so far or nothing going to come in future. That is the reason he says. The, another reason, Nyaya Sastram, what it says, no? Prayasathara uh, Tamyat, Palathara Tamyam. The kind of effort you take in, that is the, the result you reap. The, re, the result that you get, it is directly proportionate to the effort you put in. But Lalita Sahasranamam is something with least effort that you reap the most. Magnitude of reaping the benefits are the most, whereas the effort that you put in is very least. That is, that is why it is superior. Haigriva gives this kind of... Uh, they are secretive, ragasyanam, ragasyam, they are secretive, but at the same time, one can reap benefits immensely by taking very minimal effort. And then this sahasranamam is superior. Sarva roga prashamanam, sarva sampat pravardhanam, sarvapa mrutya shamanam, kala mrutya nivaranam. Reciting the sahasranamam cures all kinds of diseases. Sarva roga prashamanam, all kinds of diseases. Sarva Sampat Pravardhanam, that is, it increases one's wealth. Sarvapa Mrityu, Sarvapa Mrityu means Akhala Mrityu. Akhala Mrityu Shamanam, Kala Mrityu Nivaranam. Even the timely death, untimely, it prevents untimely death, 
even the timely death gets postponed because you reside because what they say is you get long life that is the meaning of this in short dirghayushma nareya naal irukkaradhukku that is the thing that they say sarvaroga prashamanam even we call it health is wealth that is the reason sarvaroga prashamanam sarva sampat pravardhanam health is also wealth that is not only the material wealth that we concern health is also wealth akala mrityu what i told like that sarva jwararthi shamanam dirghayushya pradayanam now only i told pradhi dirghayusham it gives dirghay dirghayusham means 100 years of life it gives that dirghayush sarva jwararthi shamanam jwaram all kinds of fever this is like you know bhaskar rai has got a thing it cures all kinds of fever sarva jwarartha shamanam he says sarva means everybody is jwaram that also it i in two ways you can interpret it because this asnamam is such if someone is ailing they cannot recite the sarksasranamam but someone else can recite for them and it will have a good effect on them it is like that somebody else can do the recitation where the the person ailing is benefited so adanala sarva jwararthi shamanam dirga yushya pradayagam it gives complete um, life age like you know you live for long time putra pradam aputranam the childless get the ch- get children kolanda illada vaalukku kolanda kudukkar childless purushartha pradayagam அம்பாளோட உபாசனை ஒன்லி கிவ்ஸ் தட் ஆல் த புருஷார்த்தஸ் தர்மம் நான் முன்னாடி சொல்லியிருக்கேன் ஐ ஹவ் டோல்ட் இட்ஸ் லாங் பேங் பத்ம புராணத்திலேருந்து எடுத்தது கணேஷம் பூஜையே எஸ்து விக்னஸ்தஸ்ய ந பாதத்தே யூ ரிமூவ் ஆல் ஆப்ஸ்டிகல்ஸ் வென் யூ வர்ஷிப் கணேஷா ஆரோக்கியார்த்தே அர்ச்சையே சூரியம் ஃபார் குட் ஹெல்த் யூ வர்ஷிப் த சன் dharma mokshaya madham when you want to get dharma and moksha out of the four pur- uh, purusharthas dharma and moksha you worship madham mahavishnu shivam dharma artha mokshaya shivam has to be worship shiva has to be worship for dharma wealth artha moksha moksha means the liberation chadu varghaya chandika mambal only gives all the four all the four she only gives all the four karke so this is like you know other purushartha pradhayakam purusha means all the four purushartham she only bestows idam idam vishesha shri vidya stotram priti vidhayakam japhe nityam prayatnena lalito vasti tatpara if you are devoted to worshiping lalita ambi ambala worship pannanum appdin irundadna you should re- recite only sahasranamam to reap immense benefit from that if you are like you know you are devoted towards her then you should recite this sahasranamam to get to reap benefits jabhe nityam prayatnena lalita upasthi tatpara whatever like you know she is so pleased with all your effort so she blesses you immensely so if you have to worship amba reside lalita sasrana bahubala pradatvatam like you know the results are bestowing innumerable benefits alpayasa sadhyatvam live with little effort she is that is the reason they say like you know this sasrana mam when compared with agnihotram dasha purnamasa and jyostama vishwajit all this big yagnas they are all very big yagnas compared to this and very difficult to do the process is so much but here you have to just recite the sastranamam you get more benefits than what you reap in doing those yagnams says like you know that mimamsa sastram says like you know the effort that you put in is very very minimal in this the procedure for the parayanam is what next hygriva is explaining enna kramam how you have to recite the sasranam prata snatva vidhanena sandhya karma samaptyacha it is early morning bath 
Khadasnatva. You have to have bath early in the morning. Vidhanena Sandhya Karma Samapya Jaya. Sandhya Vandanam, all the Nitya Karmas, you have to complete all the Nitya Karmas. Pooja Griham Tato Ghadva Chakra Rajam Samarchayet. You enter the Pooja Griham where the, where like you know, you are Pooja, Pooja room you enter. See, Pooja Griham Tato Ghadva, there is two meaning to that. Doing the um, Dwara Pooja for the Pooja, Pooja room or you are entering the Pooja. Puja, that is both Puja Graham, Tado Ghatva, Chakra Rajam Samarchieti, worship the Sri Chakra first. Here they give a thing like you know, this Vidhanena. Vidhanena is something that has come in a Pratha, Snatva, Vidhanena, Sandhya Karma, Samapyacha. That Vidhanena is placed between Sandhya Karma and uh, Snatva. Snatva and Sandhya Karma, in between that Vidhanene, Vidhanene can be attributed to Snanam as well as to the, the word when it is placed in between, it can relate to both the word before and after. It is called Kakakshi Nyayam. Kakakshi Nyayam. One, one single word can be attached to the word before that or can be attached to the word after that. They place the, the placement of the uh, term is that it is called Kakakshi Nyaya. Nyaya Stadram. Nyaya Sastram it is. Sri Chakram. So the only who are initiated can only do Sri Chakra Puja. What if you are not initiated? Can you recite Sastram? Yes, you can recite. So make someone who has been initiated into Sri Vidya to, to do the Sri Chakra Puja and then you recite the Sasrana. You can appoint somebody to do the Sri Chakra Puja. That is what they say. You can depute someone else to perform the Puja for your sake and then you can recite the Sasrana. There is no difference in that. Vidhyam Japay Sahasram Vatrishatam Satameva Sri Vidya Mantram You have to recite thousand times daily at least 300 times even if it is not 300 times do it at least for 100 times he says <laughs> vidya chapet sahasram first first is 1000 times trishatham is 300 shatham eva at least 100 times rahasya nama sahasram idham patsat pathen only after reciting the sri vidya mantram you have to recite the Sahasranama Stotra. The Krama. First Snanam, then Nitya Karma, then Puja Graha Pravesham, and then Sri Chakra Pujanam, and then Sri Vidya Japam, and then comes the Sahasranam. This is what. In between the Sri Vidya Japam and Sri Chakra Puja, if you are not initiated, you cannot do it. So you can depute somebody to do that, and then you can recite the Sahasranama. This is the leverage um, Hagriva has given us. So, we can ask if we don't recite the, I mean, do the japam, will we reap the same bene benefits? There is no difference in doing the japam and doing the sasranam or plainly doing the sasranam, you reap the same benefits. Because not everybody is initiated into Sri Vidya. So, that is the reason doing the Japam and reciting the Sahasranama reaps the same benefit as only reciting the Sahasranama. There is no difference in that. You don't need to be worried. We will be less blessed or something like that. If you are not initiated, you are not initiated. That's all. Janma Madhye Sakrutsabhiya Evam Padate Sudhihi Tasya Punya Phalam Vakshe Shrunutvam Kumbasambha Janma Madhye Sahutrabi Ya Yevam Patate Sudhi. Why the wise at least recite it at least once in their lifetime? We are talking about only once, not every day. First comes reciting the Sahasranama only once in the lifetime. Because they know the kind of benefits that one re reaps is so immense. So the wise reside at least once in their lifetime, the Sasranam. 
it is not every day no it is only once kumbha sambhava shrunutvam tasya punya phalam vakshe shrunutvam kumbha sambhava i will tell you what are all the benefits you reap by reciting the sahasranama only once in your lifetime the first he comes to that he starts with that now it is all one one line i will there are six uh, benefits he has told you have to just put a comma and end i will complete that okay gangaadi sarva dirteshu yasnayat koti janmashu snayat koti janmashu tirtha yatra taking bath in holy rivers gangaadi gangayile ellathu you know it is a duty of everybody born in this world to take bath every day in one of the tirthams our tap is our tirtham and we say today it is ganga tomorrow it is kaveri <laughs> we can call my names and put it like that is the rule so by reciting once in the once the sahasranamam gangaji sarva tirteshu yasnaya koti janmasu so you get for reciting only once for koti janmam if you had taken bath regularly in all the tirthas you get that phalam that is first okay the second one koti lingam pratishthanam tu ya khuryat ivi muktake consecrating one crore linga murti in the core holy place like avimukta kshetra avimukta kshetra means avi means sin avimukta means if you just step into that avimukta kshetra your sin disappears it is like that avimukta kshetra like you can uh, wipe off all your sins by going to avimukta kshetra ekasmin sthapite linge vishvam samsthapitam bhavet consecrating one lingam bestows that kind of a benefit much more than uh, consecrating any other deities so lingam koti lingam pratishtha it is not one lingam koti lingam pratishtha and in holy places like abhimukta if a kashi region vande brahad baja bhalam lethu we have taken that Kashi region has got four holy places Kashi Varanasi Abhimukta Mandanandar Andar Mukham that is layer inside layers within Kashi is Abhimukta within Abhimukta is i mean within Kashi is Varanasi within Varanasi is Abhimukta within Abhimukta is Antar it is like that layer within layer Kashi is the main place and Kashi Varanasi is in that and Abhimukta is within Varanasi and andar muham is within avimukta so they say like you know avimuktam and andar muham are the same they are not different that because andar muham denotes that shiva himself kashila varanasi la irukra shiva that that itself denotes that is the reason they say that we he resides in that place so all the papam the sins get uh, completely undone there okay this is the second one third one kurukshetre tu yo datya koti varam ravi grahe kotim sarva swarna sauvarna bharanam srorti yeshu dvijanmasu kurukshetre yu datya one crore time of one crore bhara gold bhara means weight measure one crore bharam gold one crore time donating as charity in kurukshetra kurukshetre tu yo dhatya khoti var ravi grahe on the solar eclipse day srorteshu dvijanmasu to a brahmin who is velvas who is living the life by the tenets of vedas whatever the vedas has told he is living his life like that so one crore time donating charity in charity gold to the weight of 1 crore bharam to a brahmin who lives the vedic life during the solar eclipse day 
in Kurukshetra. Why it is so specifically mentioned here? Because when you receive donations, Brahmins when you give Brahmins donations or bojana, even Sardham you have people coming over and having bojana. They, they actually accrue some kind of uh, sin doing that because they take your sin. That is the reason they accept your gift. When you donate, then they take it. So what they do is, they have a prize chitam for everything. For eating or for, for taking donations from someone. They go and perform that prize chitam so they get atoned. It is mainly atonement. Okay? They get atoned when they take this kind of uh, uh, gifts or even bojana for that matter. But every for everything there is in Shastra it is mentioned like for this you have to do this price chitam. Okay? But when you accept donation in Kurukshetra or the lunar eclipse day there is no price chitam mentioned in the Shastra. Then you can understand what kind of benefits you accrue by doing that? No one will accept in Kurukshetra and the lunar. Why? Kurukshetra the Radha and Bahaman Krishna ne Vangina. Just, you just make the connection. Kurukshetra only, Bahaman Krishna took the arms from Karnan. Was that a solar eclipse day? No, it was not solar eclipse day, but he took the gift from him. So, Bhavani Angavangi Nedam. So, whatever it is, you are giving to the Bhavan himself, it means. No one accepts it because there is no prize with the mentioned in the Sastras. So, no one, you get the benefit of donating one crore time. The just magnitude is something mind blowing. If you just denote only, if you just recite the Sasranama only once in your life. So, okay. Once in your life, you get that benefit. Okay? <laughs> this is the third third benefit Hai Griva is mentioning in this because there is no atonement to this kind of accepting the donation on the in Kurukshetra on the solar eclipse day. So that is the reason no one will come forward to take it from you. <laughs> then you get the benefit of like, you know, donating one crore time. <laughs> then next, fourth benefit he says, Ya him hayame dhana ahare ghanga redasi ghanga redasi Hayam Edhana, Kotim Haye, everything is in crores. Sasanam has got only thousand words, but the benefits are in crores. <laughs> Conducting, performing Ashram Edhayagam in the banks of river Ganga. What is the benefit? Ashram Edhayagam can even, Brahmahati Dosham it can atone. Okay? For Brahmahati Dosham, Ashram Edhayagam was only prescribed for atonement. Koti Ashwamedaya. It is not one and on the banks of river Ganga. And Acharet Kopa Koti Koti Ryo Nirjala Marubhutale. Nirjale Marubhutale. Acharet Kopa. Kopa means wells. Crores. Digging the crores of wells. Nirjale Marubhutale. Maru means where, like you know, uh, living beings cannot live. That place, Nirjale desert. So in desert, digging crores of wells. This gives that punya. <laughs> next one, next punya. What he says? Let us see. Like you know. So we what? No, no. Kupa means that is meant only for the society, not so doing good to the society. Durbiche yaf pratidhinam koti brahmana bhojanam. Durbiche, the day, the time period when giving alms or getting alms is difficult. Durbiche. Yaf pratidhinam every day koti brahmana bhojanam. When that kind of a thing, when you are going to do bhojanam for 
crore brahmanas the kind of punyam that you get the last line is the uh, like you know summarizes everything it is what we all think like you know it gives for uh, one janma or things like that no the last line shraddhaya paraya kuriya sahasra parivatsara you know what is parivatsara the there are like you know 60 years in um, in uh, in our uh, sanskrit uh, years names of years 60 names are there samvatsara samvatsara uh, parivatsara here we are saying parivatsara what is parivatsara the first 12 years are called samvatsara first 12 years after the 60 they are called parivatsaram the next 12 was called parivatsaram first samvatsaram then parivatsaram the third 12 years idha vatsaram fourth 12 years is id vatsaram and fifth 12 years is anu vatsaram but in general when you say parivatsaram it is only 12 years so here they are talking about sahasra parivatsaram 12000 years श्रद्धया परया कुरिया सहस्र परिवर्तन परिवत्सर सो फॉर 12000 इयर्स इफ यू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी हैव मेंशन व्हाट एवर काइंड ऑफ बेनिफिट्स दैट यू विल गेट यू अक्रू इट बाय रिसाइडिंग द सहस्र नाम ओनली वंस इन योर लाइफ टाइम कांट कॉम्प्रिहेंड द बेनिफिट लाइक यू नो हाउ इट इज वी डोंट नो दैट दैट इज so high river starts like this i think this session is completely in english you know see both are sitting in front of me <laughs> for a change i have talked in tamil completely it's okay tat punyam khoti gunitham labhet punyam anuttamam tat punyam dhat punyam khoti gunitham crore time you multiply it that is what you get it multiplying whatever we have said so far the punyam that you accrue by doing this shraddhaya for 12000 years you accrue it by reciting only once the sahasranamam that to what multiplied by a crore time It's crore times tat punyam khoti gunitam labhet punyam anuttamam rahasya nam sahasre Naam, if this is the highlight of that naam no apyekasya kirtina the sasra namam in this thousand names one nama can get you all these benefits already we have multiplied by crore and we have to again multiply by thousand one nama can get you this kind of benefits is is <laughs> unimaginable so you cannot comprehend then now we got the benefits what kind of sins that he can be erased by reciting this asrama rahasya nama sahasre namai khabima yav pate only one nama here only one nama in the sahasra namam tasya papani nashyanti mahatyapi न संशय महांत्यपि न संशय हव अवर हेन इज युअर सिंस आर इट कैन वाइप अवे एव्रीथिंग तस्य पापानि नश्यन्ति व्हिच कैन नेवर बी वाइप दे ऑल योर प्रारब्ध कर्मास आल्सो यू गेट्स वाइप्ड अवे व्हेन यू रिसाइड द सहस्रनाम द बेनिफिट ऑफ वन नाम हियर अगेन दैट इज नामै खमपि यफ पटेत ओनली वन नाम इन द सहस्रनाम what kind of sins nitya karma ananushtanat an anushtanat anushtana means following it not following the nitya karma prescribed in your varnashrama dharma that is every varnam has got defined nitya karma to be done not following that is one sin nishiddha karana dabi and doing <laughs> whatever should not be done you do that यापम जायते पुंसा तत्सर्व नश्यति धृतम 
all these sins get completely destroyed by reciting this Sahasranamam, he says. So we, we get to know like, you know, not only gives, it also wipes away your sin. He himself, suddenly he is lost, I think, high griever. He says, What else, like, what more I can say than this? He is asking probably himself, but he continues to say, <laughs> He continues to say, Kimutvena Shrunutvam Kalasi Sutha. Kalasi means again the pot. Kalasi Sutha means the one born uh, in the pot, in a pot. Okay? Kalasi Sutha. What is more to tell? Bahunatra Kimuktena. Kimuktena. What is there to tell? What more to tell? Atraika nam no yashakti padaka nam nivartane. Tannivartyam agham kartum nalam lokas chadurtasha. One nama, the strength of one nama, traika nam no yashakti. The strength of one nama, what kind of sins it can destroy? There is no sin that cannot be destroyed in the 14 worlds. That is what. Tannivartyam agham kartum nalam lokas chadurtasha. There is no sin that cannot be destroyed by one nama of this asram in these 14 worlds. That is the power of this. This is why he is saying like, like you know, the power of this asram, why it is hailed so supreme, why it is considered supreme. Yet, uh, yastyatva nama sahasram papahanima bipsati sahi shida nivrutyartam himashailam nishevathe. If to atone your sin, if one resorts to some other remedies, no, I am not reciting the sahasranamam. You know, it is like what? Sahi shidi nivrutyartam. To get rid of cold, you go to himashailam nishevathe. To get rid of gold, you are going to Himachana. Himalayan mountains to get rid of gold. It is like, you know, not resorting to Sastranamam and opting for some other remedies. Why he says that? Because there are Sastras that has described so many remedies for so many sins. Why we are saying like, you know, it is following that? Because the next... Next slokam says that Bhaktoya Kirtaya Nitya Midam Nama Sagasraham Tasmai Shri Halita Devi Prita Vishtam Prayachati Bhaktoya Bhaktana Yirkravanaka The Sasranamam is the only remedy. He should not resort to any other remedy. Residing Sasranamam is only remedy if he is devoted to Sri Halitam Bhikam. Nitya midam nama sahasram. Now we are not talking about only one nama. We are talking about reciting the entire sahasranamam nitya. Bhakto yaf kirtayan nitya midam nama sahasragam tasmai shri halita devi prita bishtam prayachati. She is immensely delighted and she will fulfill all his desires. So for a bhaktan, for a person who is devoted to Lalita Mdiha, he should resort only Lalita sahasranamam as the remedy for everything and not resort to some other remedy mentioned even in the Sastras. That is what this, this clarified like this. So Ambali, anyhow, he gets clarified, gratified very easily with the Sastra. Lalita Preeti Dhayakambi, she gets gratified very easily by reciting the Sastra Nama. So why not resort to this than going for other remedies? Now, so as I say, like, you know, now we are not talking about one nama, we are talking about recitation of Sahasranamam as a whole. It is for a devotee who is Upasana, who has taken up the Upasana of Sri Vidya Upasana or Ambal Upasana, Devi Upasana, reciting Sahasranamam every day is a must. He can ask the next question. Akhirtiyam idam stotram katham bhakto bhavishyati. 
If one is not reciting Sahasranam every day, how can he comes, call himself as a devotee, he is asking, Bhakta, he is asking. So, it is a duty for you to recite the Sahasranam every day. Next he comes to the point, okay, if you are not able to do it every day. He gives that leverage also now. Nityam Sankirtana Shakta Hai Ketaye Punya Vasare. At least on uh, auspicious days, you recite. If you are not able to do it every day. <laughs> that is a leverage there. Shankhante Vishave Chaiva Svajanma Thrataye Ayane Navamyam Vachadurtashyam Sithayam Shukra Vasare. Shankaranti, Vishu, New Year. Swajanma Trithi, Trithaye. Three Janma Trithi, they are saying. How it is, like, you know, normally a man is residing for his wife and his son or daughter, his child. If there are more number of children, you have to reside that many times for, on their birthdays as well. And, Shankaranta, Vishavi, and Ayane, when the Dakshinayanam and the Uttarayana Punyakalam, when they start on that day, you have to reside. Navamya va Chadurdashyam. Navami stiti, Chadurdashi tithi. Sithayam Shukravasari. Sithaya means like, you know, the um, uh, Shukla Baksham of Navami and Chadurdashi, not the Krishna Baksham. The brighter part of the moon, Shukla Baksham, Navami and Chadurdashi tithi, you have to reside. Shukra Vasare, Fridays. At least these are all the days you recite. Says, if you are not able to do it every day, at least do it only on these days. Kirtaye Nama Sahasram Purnamasyam Visheshata. To recite Sasranama on Purnami day is the most superior. So one shouldn't fail to recite Sasranama on Purnami day. That is very, he, why he says like, you know, Pornamasyam Chandra Bimbe Dhyatva Sri Lalidambhigam Panjopachare Sampujya Bhathe Nama Sahasrakam During Pornami, in the full moon, this thing, Dhyatva Sri Lalidambhigam, in the Chandra Bimbam, you meditate Lalidambhiga within that Pornami, that full moon, and then do the Panjopacharam, and then recite the Sahasranam. That is what he is saying. Why Purnami you have to Dhyatva, Chandra Bhimbe and all he is saying like you know. Normally for Salagramam and Bhanalingam we don't do any consecration. It is there. Salagramam if you see Mahavishnu is there. Bhanalingam means Shiva is there in that. There is no special consecration for that. In the same way Purnami full moon day, there is no need for any kind of consecration of Ambal in that because she is already present there. That is why specifically Purnamashyam, Chandra Bhimbe, Dhyatvasri. Everything has to be consecrated. No, on Purnami day. You can do it. There is nothing wrong in This is the most superior he is telling. There is nothing wrong in that. Now we do the Meru Puja on Purnami day, you know. Pornamides. There's nothing wrong in that. But sitting outside and looking at the full moon and seeing her, meditating her in that full moon and then reciting is the most auspicious. He is talking about the most auspicious. There's nothing wrong in doing it inside your house. When it is cloudy, you cannot see the moon itself. Right? There's nothing wrong. But reciting Sahasranam and Pornami is very, very important. That is the most auspicious. Because that too they say like you know, karmano yasyaya khala tat khala vyapini thiti. That evening when you are reciting, the pornami thiti should be there. Then only you can do it. Sometimes it comes in the morning, it ends in the morning. And it would not have started very late. It, I mean it would have started very late. When you are reciting that period in the evening, pornami thiti should be there. That is one. The next. So what they say is, 
doing this uh, worship looking at the moon is uh, more auspicious than even doing aswamedha yangyam and vajabeyam so doing that gives that kind of benefits that is the, that is why it is yath uh, patet nama sahasram they are saying like that sarvaroga pranashyanti dirghamayus vindati ar ayamayus karo nama prayoga kalpano kalpano ditah sarvaroga pranashyanti it gets all kinds of diseases gets destroyed dirga dirghamayus cha vindati it gives long life what we have seen it the next line ayamayush karo nama prayoga kalpano ditah kalpano ditah here means parshurama kalpa sutram there is a prayoga mentioned in that kalpana kalpa kalpa sutram is ayush karam that comes in the part of sangalpam but it is the prayoga this is a tantric prayoga so it comes it is mentioned in kalpa kalpa sutram and this is what it is he says ಸರ್ವರೋಗಿಸಿ those who do nimit nitya karmas then they can do karmas for a particular cause in general like you know for ganpati homam or navagra homam or like that like uh, appeasing certain deities and things like that but this specific ayush karam can be done by those who do both nitya karma as well as nainitya karma though those two if they are doing they are only eligible to do this particular one for kamya karmas they are called as kamya karma for specific purpose and desire that you do it if when someone is very ill you want to do for them it is specifically only they can perform this and it is effective jvarartha shirasi sprashtva pathenam this is all prayogams he is telling now different prayogams these are all mentioned in the scriptures so there is no prayogam all the tantrams and everything mention carries all these prayogams but they they have mentioned this here jvarartham shirasi sprishtva pathe nama sahasram when a person has got fever you keep your hand on the person shirasi sprishtva on the head of that person and pathe nama sahasram you recite the sastra namam takshana prashamam yadi siras doto jvare jaropi cha both headache as well as the fever will vanish the moment you you have to keep touching the person on the head you have to keep your hand on the head of that person who is suffering from fever and recite the sastrana that is what he said this is a prayogam these are all prayogams that is like you know the next few also it comes they are all prayogams they are tantric pure tantric prayogam and mimamsa shastra says avruti rasakrud avrusi rasakrut upadesha you have to repeat it till the till it gets affected till the fever goes away you have to keep repeating reciting the sastra that is this is all prayogams that is what he says the benefit of sastra nam sarva vyadi nivruttyartam sprishtva basma jabeditha tapasma dharana deva nashyanti vyade akshanat keep the basmam vibhuti that holy ash no in your hand and recite sahasranamam either apply on it or sprinkle on yourself or on the person who is ailing tapasma dharana deva nashyanti vyade akshanat everything all the diseases will vanish if you do that you have to keep the holy ash in your hand we both in your hand and recite sastrana i mean charge it with sastrana it is mainly charging it <coughs> jalam 
जलम सम्मंत्रिय कुंभस्थम नाम सहस्रधो मुने अभिषिंचेत यह यह ग्रह ग्रस्थान ग्रह नश्यंति तक्षणा now some people are afflicted by bad effects of the planets take the kalasham fill it with water and charge it with sasranama and do abhisheham for that person or if you are afflicted then you do for yourself and have that snanam from that water then your planetary ill effects get vanished this is mainly done for ill effects of planets those who are bad effects of planet those who are afflicted can be the effects can get destroyed sometimes this ill effects of planets can drive one to even to commit suicide there are the, those things are we have seen it so those things can be destroyed with this next one sudha sagara madhyastham dhyatva sri lalitambika यफ पटे नाम साहस्रम विषम तस्य विनश्यति सो व्हेन यू मेडिटेट अंबार इन द मिड्स्ट ऑफ सुधा सागरम दैट अमृत सागरम इन द मिड्स्ट ऑफ व्हिच ही सीटेड इफ यू मेडिटेट अंबार लाइक दैट इन एनी काइंड ऑफ पॉइजन नॉट ओनली बिकॉज़ ऑफ एनिमल्स और इवन प्लांट्स मेनी प्लांट्स आर पॉइजनस सो दैट इफेक्ट गेट्स um neutralized so you have to meditate and uh, this is also one of the prayogams like you know sudha sagar meditating ambal being in the midst of sudha sagaram and reciting the sasrana vandhyanam putra vandhyanam putra labhaye nama sahasra mandritam navaneedam pragadhya तो पुत्र लाभे भवे द्रुथ द्रुव कीपिंग सम भट्टर नवनीथम भट्टर वन्ने विचिते यू हैव टू चार्ज दैट वन्ने विद द भट्टर विद द नाम सहस्र एंड देन व्हेन द वन हु इज चाइल्डलेस इफ दे टेक दैट भट्टर देन दे गेट किड्स they are blessed with a kid if they take that butter charged with sasranam they say like navanitham pradadhyatu putra labho bhavidruva they are for sure to get blessed with a kid id putra labham putra because it is mentioned putra people should not mistake it as only male child any child any kid whether it is a boy or a girl they are blessed with a child just it is a common term that is used here as putra dhevya bhashena now this is like you know vashya prayogam first stri vashya then raja vashya stri vashya if you are like you know if someone is uh, someone wants that girl to be like uh, be his wife or be his lover or something how to do stri vashya to come bring her under your control dhevya bhashena sambandha akrishtam ankushena cha so you have to imagine or meditate like ambal has got that pasham in her hand no so bind that woman with the pasham she is binding her and holding her with the ankusha if you dhya dhyatva vishtanam striyam ratra pathe nam sahasra so if you imagine like that and recite sahasra namam for one night you will get that for sure to get that woman stri vashyam because and the kalpana these things are very very common stri vashyam and raja vashyam to bring raja under your control that is the reason these two prayogams are mentioned so this is the first one is stri vashyam so dhyatva vishtam stri whatever the, the lady of your lady of your liking come under your control comes under your control if you do like this so it is very important that ambal is you have ambal should be holding that girl with the pasham and with the ankusham <laughs> bind that girl with the pasham and hold her with the ankusham <laughs> so 
so that is that is one ayati sva samipam sa yatyat ba yatyat antapuram gata even if she is inside her private chamber she will come to you come near you if you reside there sa ashram one night <laughs> one night even if she is in her private chamber will come near the mayati sva samipamya sva samipam close and near to you near you yatyatyantapuram gata from even her private chamber she will come near you wherever she is she will come near you next is rajavashyam raja kashana kamaschet raja vasatha dingmukha triratram yav patet yet shri devi dhyana tatpar for raja wherever he is residing residing no that direction the palace in which he resides you have to face that direction where his palace is in which he resides and recite the sahasranamam for 3 nights thinking about that raja this is all akashna prayogams like first we saw the stri vadya stri stri vasyam and this one is like triratram yav pathet yet shri devi dhyana tatpara if you meditate on shri devi and recite the sahasra namam for three nights continuously facing the direction of the palace where the raja resides raja how he comes is the next <laughs> you can bring him under control his rajyam as well as him under control okay how he comes that that is what the sa raja paravasyen turankam va madangajam aruhya yadi nikatam dasat pranipatya cha what happens when you recite like this for three nights continuously the raja comes to you riding on a horse or an elephant publicly he is not coming to you in private he is coming publicly riding a horse paravashena turangam va madhankaja aruhya yati nikatam he comes riding either on an elephant or on a horse dasat pranipatya stands near you like a slave with hands on his mouth dasat pranipatya cha then what he does tasmay rajyam cha kosham cha dadhya deva na samshaya pasan kada or na samshaya both are there tasmay rajyam his he gives gives his rajyam as well as kosham the riches attached to the rajyam datya dena na samshaya or datya deva vashangata both are there either one of that even so he comes publicly and be a slave to you if you reside three nights facing that is what this um, this kind of like you know prayogam sakashna prayogams should be done only face mean whoever you want to <laughs> bring them under control <laughs> you have to face the direction they are residing and then and all these are in the night only yeah <laughs> because tantram no uh, okay tantric things are done only in the night these okay. are all tantra prayogams so, so all these all these are in the night yeah. okay. not everything the uh, this akashna prayogams and all the prayogams the specific prayogams three prayogams akashna this prakha this this kind of prayogams are tantric so it has to be done only in the night we saw up to purnamasa it is all like what we do normally 
that this akashna prayogams this specific prayogams are mentioned in the tantram that is what he has written this akashna prayogams are all in detail mentioned in vamakeshara tantram jnana nam dakshinamuk samhite nitya tantram in everything these are all akashna prayogams bringing someone under control or like the only thing that we have to see in this is there is no marana prayogam that is to kill someone or to think ill of them you are doing only vashyam but it is for selfish reasons it is for selfish reasons because tantric things are done mainly for selfish reasons for specific selfish purposes all the tantric prayogams most of them are not done for the loka loka samasta sukino bhavantu no not for the welfare of the world but for the welfare of one's own self but it could be for your spiritual progress also spiritual progress mainly like you know you can uh, it is difficult because tantric is done spiritual progress there is not done in the night in the midnight and things like that probably 9 o'clock is the kind of time beyond that we don't start but tantric start only after that after 10 o'clock when it is night when everybody is sleeping tantric prayogams are thoroughly different we call it as dakshina margam and samya margam apasamya margam and things like that no? they are different totally different these pr- main major part of the tantric prayogams that is the reason he said no in um, ಚತುಷ್ಟ್ಯಾತಂತ್ರ ಸಕಲಂ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಲಹರಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ತಂತ್ರ ಹೀ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಶಿವ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ that is the reason he says i want to give this for the benefit of the world karke he introduces shri vidya tantra shri vidya he introduced mainly for that because the main purpose was lost because it was misused tantram was actually made by shiva only for the benefit of the world but it has been misused for personal benefits but there is no like you know for someone to like kill or anything not like this sasnam doesn't promote that this has been used that is the reason he has mentioned in this this prayogams they have used it is not only lalita sasnam they use other prayogams also because that consist of bali and things like that sacrifice of animals all those things come under the tantric this thing we don't do it that is why he says we will stop with this actually because the next from the next to this thing it is mentioned like you know we call it as um, it is also tantric application this um the next few verses what it is going to explain is what is the benefit of reciting the sasranamam every day there are like you know uh, upasana margam when people are in upasana margam they recite sasranamam every day and what is the benefits reaped by that these are all tantric prayogams we have seen it now and we are now coming to vaidika karma where by reciting the sasranamam every day what are all the benefits one reaps okay that we will see it in the next session we will close this session today guru pranam